Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so, I know I failed at updating, it's been forever, and I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna go ahead and probably do two, one that was Christmas and one was general life update. So, yeah, let's start with Christmas, because it's been that long. My sister calls me about a week before Christmas and says, uh, you're gonna be real upset with me, but you're real happy with mom, and I'm like, that's real bass backwards, why? And she says, uh, your stocking isn't up this year. And I said, excuse me? She said, your stocking isn't up. And the stocking that she's talking about is an absolutely gorgeous, ornate, hand-cross-stitched stocking with my birth name on it that mom made while she was pregnant with me. And I just, I couldn't believe this. Just absolutely couldn't. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. So why am I going to be mad at you? And she said, you know, mom is trying, so I want you to try. I want you to shave before you come home for Christmas. And I was like, well, that's okay, because I had kind of planned on doing that anyway. Just to be respectful. So, the day before Christmas Eve, uh, my sister calls me, and some stuff had gone up down at home. Her and dad got into a fight, which isn't anything real new. And uh, she was like, can I come stay with you? And I said, yeah, sure, as long as mom's okay with it. And I called mom and said, hey, Kel wants to come over tonight. Is that okay? She said, yeah, that's fine. So Kel comes over and spends the night. And the plan was originally that we were going to head, we were going to leave here around like 2-ish so we could sleep till noon. Because we do the big family Christmas at Grandma and Grandpa's on Christmas Eve in our family. So we go to sleep, you know, we stay up, hang out, talk, whatever, her and my friends and I until like 4 or 5 in the morning. My phone rings for like the third time in a row at 10 a.m. and so I look at it and it's my mom. I was like, I probably ought to answer this. So I answer it and she says, uh, you know, y'all need to get home, like now. And I was like, why? And she proceeds to explain to me that there's this giant snowstorm in town and I tell her she's full of it and look out the window and holy shit! There was already a good three inches of snow on the ground and it was coming down fast. So I said, okay, we'll get up, we'll get ready, we'll head home. So I go out on you know, the couch and wake Kel up and we get ready to go. And uh you know, we we get I get Blake, I get the gifts, we head toward home. Normally it's like a thirty to forty five minute drive depending on traffic and forty five minutes into the drive I'm only halfway home because this wonderful thing happens in Texas. People don't know how to drive in the snow. They're under the impression that even though the road is frozen they should hit their brakes. A lot. Bam. Anyway. So I call mom and let her know, you know, we're okay. We're just in Texas. Snow traffic. We'll be home. So I get home and mom's happy to see me and I'm, dad's happy to see me. And I had been genuinely excited to see my family for, the, for Christmas for the first time in years. Probably since like 7th grade when, you know, puberty happened and I got real angry and things just started getting tense between the family and I. Anyway, I get home and it's all loving and absolutely awesome. And sure enough, my stocking is gone. And in its place is just a plain red and white stocking. What is your issue? So I go to the beer, the fridge to get a beer. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be snowed in, why not, right? My family's a lot of fun to drink with. And Mom says, uh, oh, we're running pretty low on beer and liquor. If y'all want something to drink this weekend, y'all probably ought to go get it. So I said, okay. And she gives me her credit card, and I asked her, you know, where's the nearest liquor store? And she's trying to explain it to me, and God bless my mother, she's kind of directionally challenged. And so Dad starts chiming in, and she's like, hon, just tell him where to get it. Or just tell him where to go. Just tell him where to go. And I'm like... Him? I didn't say anything, but I'm sure the smile on my face spoke volumes. And Dad kind of pauses and then just starts telling me how to get to the liquor store. So Kel and I, I take my sister with me and we head to the liquor store and get everything we need between the liquor store and Walmart. Mom wanted some stuff, us to pick some stuff up. And on our way home from Walmart, it starts getting nasty, like I had less than 10 foot visibility. I mean, I know how to drive in the snow, but I had never seen that before. So I called Mom and said, hey, it's getting real nasty. Um, we're safe. I'll keep letting you know we're fine, but it's going to take us a while to get home. So I get home, and we're chilling out and having a good time, and 
is absolutely awesome. Well, then it comes time to go to Grandma and Grandpa's for Christmas. So we go to Grandma and Grandpa's. And even that was pretty peaceful. There was there was far less tension. Still a whole bunch of she's and birth names and... Nah, whatever. But it was a good time. So my dad asked me if I'm staying at their house or here where I live. Because my grandparents is halfway between the two. And I said, well, I don't know if you remember, but my dog's at your house, so I'm going home with y'all. And Dad gets real happy about that, so I go home, and we continue to have a pretty good night, and it's time to go to sleep, so I go to sleep. And I had the suspicion that part of Christmas was going to be my parents trying to use at least he, if not Tyler. But I didn't think Tyler was so much going to happen. They were at least trying it, he... So, my sister had to work, so me and my parents spent the day drinking, chilling, having a good time. And there were some occasional he's mixed in with she's and whatever, it was weird. So, right before my sister gets home, the phone rings, and my dad's talking to somebody, and I come to find out it's my, my mom's parents, grandma and grandpa. And, uh... He hangs up the phone and says something about they may be coming over, and Mom says, well, I would really prefer they didn't, but whatever, which was strange, because my mom's got it. Even my dad's got a great relationship with my mom's parents, but whatever. So Kel comes home, and sure enough, Grandma and Grandpa come over, and Mom and Dad get kind of upset. And I can't quite figure it out, but whatever. So it's time to sit down and do gifts after we eat dinner. And, uh, I got real happy. My mom got real creative how not to put names on the gifts. She used a different wrapping paper for each person. It was really cool. So anyway, we get the gifts handed out, and we start opening them. And I opened the first gift. And it was a shirt from American Eagle that I almost bought myself, like, a week and a half, two weeks before. And I'm just beaming. It's the... I like the shirt, it's the right size, and I look over to give my mom a smile that expresses thank you more than I can express, and my grandma's halfway between, and I notice my grandma glaring at my mother. But I continue to smile at my mom, and she gives me this half-hearted smile that kind of acknowledges it, but she understands that her mom is kind of mad at her for perpetuating this. And so we continue to open gifts, and it was all clothes that I would have bought for myself in the right sizes. It was awesome. And so we uh, we sit down and we play cards. We play a game called Horse Race Rummy, which in our family can get real nasty, violent in a real entertaining way. Just a whole bunch of yelling and screaming and all bullshit. And, uh, so we're sitting down, we're playing cards, and my dad's on my right-hand side, and I make a move of some sort, and him and Grandpa were arguing over who had the right to buy the card. And they, they start screaming, and Dad says, no, bullshit, he, he, this, 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 and that, and I forget, because I've been drinking. Woo-hoo! Anyway, and Grandpa says, what? And Dad says, he, this, this, and this. And I catch it this time, and once again, ear-to-ear, -ear, stupefied grin. And Grandpa gives Dad the same look Grandma gave Mom. I was kind of upset by that. And by kind of, I mean really. But anyway, the night proceeds, and my parents are continuing to slip up on pronouns. I don't know if it's a conscious effort. Ew. Here, take that. Anyway, I don't know if it's a conscious effort, or if that they just can't look at me and say she anymore, because what is left that's female about me? Nothing that's visible with my clothes on, that's for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I stayed I stayed that same night. I stayed Christmas night at my parents' house, and my dad was really happy about that. And the next day, my sister went to work again, and my mom, my dad, and I, you know, hung out for a while. Kel came home, and we hung out, and it was great family time. And I had told my dad I was going to stay that night again, and he was really happy about it. And then my friends called and had something to do, and I realized, you know what, this has gone on really well, really long. There's no need to keep pushing this envelope. 
And so I told that I was leaving, and he got real upset, and I meant to pull him aside and explain to him that, you know, look, this has been really positive and a really good time, and I don't want to press the issue. I will come back. I have the next week and a half off. I promise you I'll be back home, but I never got to do that. And so he got real upset when I went home. But whatever. I mean, you know, I went home some more that week, and we had a good time. But... Yeah, I guess the whole point is that Christmas was really cool. It was the first Christmas, first time with my family that I've enjoyed in probably ten years. Ten or eleven, yeah. It was so cool. But yeah, that's my Christmas update. Um, I'll make an update on the rest of everything here in a second. Alright, bye.